It's been a little while since I made an update of our passive solar round pole greenhouse project. Started in mid-December and here we are in mid-February. It's moving along. Certainly some roadblocks to getting it finalized and seeded in that specifically the temperature outside has been reliably below freezing for the most part. We had a couple warm days here there. Uh, what I need is some days that are going to stay above freezing for a bit so that Sasha and I can do some of the detail work, which I think you can see here, the cracks that still need to be cobbed. We have the clay soil in here, we have the wool ready to go, but we need a little bit warmer weather to be able to make that cob and seal these cracks. But some of the other concepts are moving along in a good way. Specifically, I want to talk about the air tubes and how they're moving air through the soil. Let me focus on that. In the last video, I talked about some metal or some galvanized tubes that I found in a dump and I picked a few of them out and talked about the idea of adding them as stack effect chimneys to the climate battery. And so if none of this is sounding familiar, I'm going to link here to the first video where I talk about the layout of this space and the inclusion of these four inch perforated drain tubes that go down through the soil to act as a climate battery or a ground air heat transfer system. But what I've done is taken those three tubes, there's one, two, three, that run in parallel down, about three feet down, with uh, perlite insulation underneath them, and then come up one, two, three over there. And I'm going to explain what this glass and the rocks and all that is all about in a moment. But what, I've, what I'm trialing right now is a few things. I tried adding these metal tubes painted black on the south side to see if it's possible that the tubes on their own would they absorb enough heat from the sun to create hot air rising through them enough to create a vacuum to draw air all the way through the bed up and out. And it came very close to doing so. And what I've found is that with a little solar panel, which is that little doodad over there, and a pretty rinky-dink uh, charger, I got this off of eBay for around $50 funkily made, but it has a battery bank in it. Uh, it plays the radio, which I thought was nice to be able to listen to music while we're out here working. And it came with a bunch of light so we can illuminate the space at night. And so during the day now what I have is this is charging by the sun and it has a USB port that let me plug in an $11 fan. It's a 120 millimeter fan right here which I'm really thrilled with the performance. It is silent. It's on medium right now. If I put it up to high, it's also nice as control. It's still silent. And with just that little additional boost of draw, so this is aiming upward, I now see that the air is coming all the way through these pipes so whatever the air temperature is in this space, I can now bring that down through the tubes to push that temperature down three feet into what is now about 4,000 pounds of soil. I went through and topped this off with finished potting mix that I made a few years ago. And so this is getting close to being ready to be seeded. But so then the question is, well, what, what's this all about? So this is the other side of those tubes under glass. And the idea, the concept, we'll see how well it performs. There's still more work to be done. But I just added these rocks in here today. My intention is to cover them with uh, charcoal dust, paint that on with a linseed oil so that they're all pitch black. And so then it'll be a micro greenhouse where the sun's coming through, heating the rocks, which will create a lot of warmth and a little bit of a capacitance. So those will take a little time to heat up, but they'll also provide heat later in the day into the evening when I want to get more warmth. And now these two tubes are drawing air down and through them. And the way I can test that in a very informal way, I know there's devices you can buy that do this, but what I've learned in the past is if you take a stick of incense, <laughs> some of you are going to watch this and think, this guy's ridiculous. but for those of you that have a lighter and incense, you can test airflow. If 
by getting it to make smoke and then I bring it over the tubes and I can see it being drawn down through the tube. So this one is actively drawing air from this little solar rock garden and so is this one. Not super aggressively, if I move it up high it goes away, but with that glass lid on I now know that this little microclimate, hot, dry microclimate space should be drawing air through. This last tube still needs a fan. I do not see it drawing actively through there. I'm sure folks have better ways to do this, but I've, I really like how simple this is and accessible to test. So those two tubes on the south are drawing air down and through the soil, through this side. I have my little temp probe in here. I'm going to monitor over the next few days what sort of temperatures this hits. And the glass on top is meant to keep that solar gain focused in there and to charge that space. So that's pretty fun. We'll see how that evolves. I'd love to hear thoughts from folks. Another aspect about this that's starting to feel very exciting. Today outside it's about 25 Fahrenheit the temperature probe in the shade in here read 55 a little ways back so it's 30 degrees warmer in here since it's a sunny day and the air at the top of the space is warm enough that we can leave the door completely open to the house. I wouldn't make the argument that today on a 25 degree day this greenhouse is actively heating our home but it's allowing a lot of uh, really nice fresh air to move through. Stanley can come and go. I'm going to talk about his role in here in a moment <laughs> it's a mixed bag, um, but it's nice to be able to get fresh air. It's the same temperature as the house, and I would suspect when we get a 40 degree day that's sunny, this space will very much actively heat our home. Uh, it got up to 70 degrees in here, I think when it was about 45 degrees and sunny a week ago. So that's very exciting. We're on our way to having this actually support our home heating needs. Now the challenging bit is Stanley, our friendly cat, is very much enjoying being out here and luckily we haven't seeded any of these beds out. He's of course decided this is his kitty litter. He's an indoor cat and this is a superlative kitty litter space. We're letting him have it for now with the idea that uh, as soon as we're ready to seed we're going to smooth this over, add some fresh soil and sow. And my plan is to put little sticks of miscanthus grass stalks every few inches in all the directions so he can't walk on the soil. We'll see how that works, but we'd love for him to come in and enjoy walking across the plank and sitting on these warm stones. We certainly don't want to box him out from here, do we, our friend? He's been enjoying coming and going. So we'll see how that works out. He's been a fun challenge, but overall the climate battery the stack effect with a little bit of additional boost of solar driven um, USB 120 millimeter fan has been working beautifully and we'll do some tests of the temperature deep down in the soil soon enough. We're coming into some cold nights coming up. My hope is to charge this bank of soil with as much warmth as possible in the next day or two and see if that coasts us through the cold spell. Share your thoughts. Let me know what seems like it's working, what adjustments you'd like to see, and we'll go from there. Thanks for watching.